Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a Twin Flame reading for the sign of Leo. Please keep in mind as it's a general read, it will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements, crosswatch or check back again. Now let's see what are the energies for Leo and their Twin Flame. What is the issue in this connection? How to heal it? How to heal this connection for Leo, please? Let's see. So for your energy, Leo, we have the two of ones. For their energy, the Ace of Cups. For the issue that needs to be healed, we have the Ace of Wands. How to heal it? We have the Knight of Swords. The outcome, the Sun. Wow, the happiest card in the deck. Uh, as an overall energy here, Leo, we have Death. He could be dealing with Scorpio, another Leo. But the Death here is telling me that this connection right now is going through a major, major, huge transformation and it will not be as it was before. Right? We will see more when we clarify. You being in the energy of the two of ones, I feel like, for me actually, this card, it represents Mars and Aries. So it's not just like some kind of passive waiting. I feel like you know. You know what to do. You know where to go. I feel like you are in a quite good level of awareness here. And, um, and you know that there is some time probably needed um, for your wishes within this connection to come to fruition. For your twin flame here, the Ace of Cups, if you are not in contact with this person, if, if you are far away from each other, I feel like there could be that there was a breakup here, but they feel this renewed feeling of love for you, overflowing actually. From this card I'm getting this energy like very pure, very pure and very new feeling of love. But we will see more when we clarify. For the issue here, the Ace of Wands. To me, it feels like... Could be for the most part. I feel like the problem here is maybe lack of emotional connection. I feel like many of you, it could be that this connection started pretty fast. It was pretty fiery. It was... For some of you could be sex-based connection, for some of you could be like one night stand and you suddenly meet your twin flame and you are in love for life, something of that sort. Uh, but overall, yes, I feel like could be that there is a lack of, there was a lack of emotional connection, right? How to heal this, the Knight of Swords. I feel like the action has to be taken, the communication has to happen. Right, straightforward communication, maybe f the fast one, maybe there is uh, something is going on within this connection that needs a fast decision, a fast movement, and the outcome, the sun. So in case this uh, fast movement with, will be taken on your part, on their part, I'm not sure, we will see more when we clarify, but with the sun here, of course, I see the elimination, the wish fulfillment, the actually uh, absolute happiness, but... Uh, Let's start clarifying. It's very, very interesting. Let's clarify death. Uh, I said it already. Yes, you could be dealing with Scorpio or another Leo here. For the death card, we have the Page of Swords, the Magician, the Four of Pentacles. Mm. I feel like for the most part... It's probably your Twin Flames energy. I feel like they're watching you. Uh, I feel like they didn't let go of this connection. If they thought they did, no, they didn't. And they are actually manifesting this connection back into fruition. Definitely. Uh, this, this could be the energy for the both of you. It could be both watching each other. It could be both not letting go. But uh, to me, it feels like for the most part, it, it's uh, on your Twin Flames side. Let's clarify the two of ones for your energy, Leo. Let's see. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, 
the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I see you. Um, I see you actually going out of this uh, this energy of the Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups. I see you learning. I see you learning how to how to deal with uh, pain, endings, failure, regrets, grief. Um, I see you understanding that whenever you have this uh, this notion that that you fell down and you cannot get up, it's not true. You never fail until you give up. There is no such a thing as a failure. And you begin to understand it. You begin to learn how to navigate these situations, right? And you begin to learn how important the forgiveness is, how, is, how important this is to forgive yourself, to forgive the others in order to move forward. Because until you forgive, you can't see actually anything in front of you. You keep looking back and you are learning how to stop doing that. And with the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles is the actually one of the best pages because they are very methodical they they learn whatever they learn they remember it forever so it's a very very good process for you here let's clarify this ace of cups i'm really curious the ten of cups the six of swords the six of pentacles wow i see a lot of realizations on this person's part even if they're not telling you even though for me it feels like for the most part the communication between the two of you is already happening or is going to happen really soon because I feel like I feel like this person is is truly realizing that their happily ever after is with you. Right? They are truly realizing that they want this peace within this connection. They want reciprocity. They want balance. Actually very good energies here and I feel like it's very new for them. Right, maybe this person was emotionally closed off in the past, but I see them now being um, about to open up or open it up already. Let's see the Ace of Wands for the issue here. We have the Sun, we have the Tower, and we have the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> Well, interesting here, the Nine of Cups I see as, um, I feel like it's, it was actually probably for the both of you, but at least one of you within this connection was like, you know, this Nine of Cups is actually a very good energy of the emotional integrity, of being completely fine uh, on one's own when the person is completely fine by themselves, sometimes, sometimes when taken to the extreme, it's preventing, uh, it's preventing us from actually moving towards our happiness. Because sometimes this nine of uh, cups becomes a comfort zone. And it feels to me like for one or the other or the both of you, it could become just that. Right? And... Um, it could be like I'm getting a very strong vibe of friends with benefits, relationship of something that did not include emotional connection between two people. I feel like actually both of you are quite content with your own emotions here, but for some reason there was no emotional connection here and... Uh, and this is what actually standing keeps standing. I feel like for some of you it could be that it was on and off. And every time, every time it couldn't uh, get off the ground, this connection. Exactly because while being emotionally content and fulfilled within yourselves, you wouldn't open up to each other, if that makes sense. Right? And it actually prevented you from being in your happiness. Sorry, I dropped one card. Let me see what's that judgment. We will not take it now. If it wants to go out, it will. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords for Leo. How to heal this connection. How to fix this. Knight of Swords for Leo. Let's see the Queen of Wands. The Two of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Right. Look, interestingly, what I want to tell you 
I feel like it's a message for you for the most part with the Queen of Wands being here and the Sun being all over this reading, which is your energy, Leo. I feel like, you know what? I feel like you need to pull back from this connection for a while. Just a little bit. You know, especially if you have this uh, chaser and runner dynamic present in this connection and if you felt like you're always a chaser, you need to pull back. You need to pull back, not refusing from it completely, not walking away from it completely, but you really need to <clears throat> you really need, you really need to see and recognize those bits within this connection that don't serve you, right? Uh, the the triggers, the things that put you down within within this connection, and walk away just a little bit towards your. Uh, towards your own integrity, just for now, right? Even if I see that for many of you, this person is on the verge of reaching out or they're reaching out already, don't start chasing them once again, right? Give it more space, give it more, give it more space to, to move, to maneuver for this connection, right? Don't, I feel like, with, with a lot of your energy being present here, I feel like you feel a lot of responsibility for this connection. You feel like if you don't do something, nothing will be done. Leave it. Leave it alone. Don't. Don't. The advice here for you is to pull back just a little bit. Is to pull back, is to let them express themselves, is to let them develop within this connection too. It's to let them come to you actually. Because I see that that's what they want. Let's see the sun. We have the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah. what I want to tell you, Leo, I want to tell you that uh, you pulling back is going to actually bring you to this place with the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles here. I see somebody, I see somebody who is truly, genuinely, fulfilled within themselves, who is emotionally uh, intelligent and who can set the boundaries. <clears throat> I feel like this could be a bit of a problem for you in the past. So this whole reading now here is telling me that yes, they want to reach out to you and they probably are or there. I feel like, I feel a lot of movement on this person's side. They're definitely manifesting this connection back. But just but for you, for you, I feel it's very important at this time to set some healthy boundaries and to, to protect your... Not, I don't want you to guard your heart here, right? But to understand the value of your emotion, the value of your heart, the value of your being, right? I hope that makes sense. And, and this will bring you more happiness that... Than, than you can imagine, right? I know that when they reach out, the only thing you want to do is just to, you know, to reach out to them. Uh, maybe not just now, right? I'm not saying ghost them. I'm not saying don't reach out to them. I'm saying try to, uh, try to set a healthy boundaries for yourself within this connection, no matter, no matter what they do, right? Uh, I really feel like there is there is a need for self-care, there is a need for... I'm here in respect your own emotions, right? Uh, so, yeah, that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this helped, and I hope to see you again. Bye, Leo.